Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host Jason Turner. I'm available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. In this episode, I'm going to cover yet another feature of C++20, which you probably will not be able to use straight away, but these videos will be here for you when you get to C++20. This one is on the new contains member functions for associative containers. So let's take a look at what this means. I've got a set. A set is an associative container. I want to check to see if something that I know about is in this container. How do I do this? Before C++20, it ended up looking something like this. Set dot count of five is greater than zero. Something like that. So if it found or more than zero value four in the container, then it's going to return true. And that seems like, well, weird. It's not what we, we want. It's, it's whether or not we want to know if there's, you know, any of them in there. And it gets a little bit um, complicated now if we have a multi-set, because multi-set can actually have more than one of these values. And now this becomes actually potentially a more costly calculation than it needed to be. Or we could do something like If it can find an iterator to the first thing that matches that value and that does not equal the end of the container, then we have one. That seems silly also. So in C20 on our associative containers, we got this simple contains method. It returns a Boolean, does our associative container, that's set, multi set, map, multi map, and unordered set and unordered map. Um, if they contain the value, then it's just going to turn Boolean. So the container can do whatever is the most efficient way possible of figuring out if that value exists in there at all without actually having to you know, return an iterator to it or something or, or count the number of elements when there's the possibility of there being more than one. So uh, it's a really straightforward feature and um, it'll probably clean up some fair bit of code around the world once people are able to use it. And uh, I'm using GCC trunk here, which is why I'm able to use it today. And in case you don't see this, I am in 2A mode, which is what 20 is called in pre-release at the moment. So again, thanks for watching this episode of C++ Weekly.